Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to scrap a website, the IMDB. And you can see here, it is a list of the movie that I'm going to scrap about this web page. So first of all, I'm going to open this IE and add the library JSOC. You can download in the website. And I'm going to create a document that I'm going to copy the website and pass the website to the document. And here we put URL, so I'm going to copy that and paste. And I'm going to set default timeout. In here is the millisecond, so I prefer it's one minute. So I'm going to inspect element to check the XML source page. I'm going to click that to see where the element it is. It actually is in inside the table element and inside the body, I mean the body of the table that has class name over here. So I'm going to scrap all the elements in the table T body that have class and here we put a CS query selector class name we use dot so I just want it correctly so I'm copy and paste it so what this is I'm just uh, bring it how many row tr row in the t body okay there are a lot so i want to check this how many row in here okay you, you can see 20 uh, 250 so let's run it okay you, you can see here it's a uh, you have a uh, 250 rows it's correct so let's move, move on Okay, I'm going to loop it all the uh, uh, row, tr, elements. But in each row, it have a uh, different element in, inside that. They have uh, image, text, and uh, gear, something like that. So I'm going to uh, extract the XML from a TD. And copy that class. I'm going to select the, that class name, TD that have a class name, post the column. Okay, inside there we have image element, so I'm going to put that IMG, it's referred to that element, and get the attribute SRC, the value in, in that attribute. Let's print out. Let's see correctly if we can scrap it correct or not. You can see the image. So next we're going to scrap the title. So title we can get it in the image in image elements or we can get it in the other elements like TD we have also have the title. So I um, decided to use the image, the image tag in the image tag. It's just different, different only the attribute. Okay, put alt and alternate to description. <coughs> okay, we can see there in console page. We successfully get the title. So next is gonna scrap the year. It's the next to next to the, the title.
it can change that span name and it has the class name we can specify that class name or not but i want to accurately to scrap that so i put the uh, class name just for sure that and i'm going to get all the text raw text in inside that span element okay next we run it okay so i want to get a, a brace we can use a regular expression or can replace it uh, replace the, the string to empty so i'm going to open the website regular expression we get for check that i'm added correctly or not As you can see here, it reference. So I'm going to get only the number. Okay, we, we can see highlight there. Highlight only the text. So I'm just uh, replace only the brace except the the number. Let's run it. Okay. Done. So next, I'm going to uh, extract the rating, the rating number in the next element. In the, the other element is TD class. They have a different class name. I'm going to uh, copy the previous one and just change all the class name in the element. Copy that class name. So inside the element, we have uh, we wanted only text files. So te sorry, the text raw text. So just uh, call the method called is text and trim it. I mean that uh, remove space after and before is the the, the text. Okay, alright, we can get that. Okay, we print it out all in each. In each row, it have a, a each elements and each uh, information. So we can see in the console page. So thank you for watching this video. If you want me to create such a video, please hit subscribe and like and comment down below. And I will see you in the next video.